All right, so I am out again at the Santa Cruz Wharf. This time I wanna take a look at what lives on the bottom of the ocean when we're out at the wharf. So last time we looked at the pier pilings and saw some of the invertebrates that live there. Today, we're gonna just deploy a crab trap and see what comes up. Now, I don't just catch crabs when I put the crab trap down. Sometimes I'll catch snails, fish, um, types of jellies, so all sorts of different things. So I'm really excited. I have a GoPro attached to the crab trap and we're gonna send it all down. All right, so here's the rig. Um, so we have a bait trap here. This has chicken and I also put some hot dog in there. Um, this is where the crabs are hopefully gonna be if we bring any up and then the GoPro is attached. And I have a really long line. So we're gonna send it down and we'll attach it to the wharf to make sure we don't lose it. down there. Um, I believe it's all the way at the bottom because there's some slack line. Uh, so we'll check it in about 10 or so minutes. Okay, so it's been about 15 minutes. So we're gonna pull the crab trap back up and see if we caught anything. Um, and then we'll probably send it back down for a little bit. Okay, so right as we land, right there in the middle, there is a purple sand dollar right on the bottom. Um, it will be covered up by the trap. We won't see it anymore, but still pretty cool. Thought I'd point that out. So it's not long now before we start to see some crabs in the background. Um, uh, there is one that walks by in just a second here. There it is. <laughs> but one thing I wanna point out, hello crab. One thing I wanna point out is how murky the water is down there. Again, not something we saw the other day when we looked just at the pier pilings. Um, so now it's getting really busy. These are all graceful crabs, which are related to Dungeness crabs. They look a little bit similar. Um, and they definitely can tell where the bait is, although some of them are interested in the camera too. Hello. Um, so just so cool, very active. Um, so let's keep watching and see what we see. So this crab has no respect for personal space. He's gonna show up and check us out a few more times here. <laughs> Hello. Okay, so coming in in just a second is our first fish species. It's either a speckled sand dab or a sand sole right there in front. Um, it will swim away. Oh, bye. I think we see one more in the video though a little bit later. Now coming in from the back of the trap is a different kind of crab. This is called a red rock crab. Um, this one is really interesting. It has a distinctive feature in that it doesn't have claws. I think that the claws must have broken off of this individual, and I think I catch it later in the trap again. Um, I don't end up bringing it to the surface in this video. It got away. But in the second video, the second time I sent the, tra the trap down, I think it comes up again. <laughs> A few more things that I want to point out as this clip progresses is um, you'll notice that there are some paper clips on the trap. Normally I'll attach food to those um, and I just didn't this time because I have the actual like cup to put the bait in uh, but normally that's what the paper clips would be used for. 
The other thing I want to point out is how much the water is moving around these animals. Um, it was a pretty calm day actually out on the water and this was pretty early in the morning. Um, so very surprising to see just how much movement there was in the water column so early in the morning and how icky the water is. There's particles floating around everywhere. Okay, so I brought this clip back down to normal time to show you a really cool behavior. Um, so on the right side of the camera, you'll see a crab that's doing something kind of funny. The flap underneath it is open and it actually has eggs in there. So it's helping release those eggs into the water. Um, so there's baby crabs being laid in this video, which is so cool. So thank you so much to my friend Ariella for confirming um, that that's what was happening here. But super cool, super interesting behavior from the crab. Um, so congratulations, mom crab. You're doing a great job. All right, let's bring the trap back up to the surface and we'll look at what we actually caught. This guy's gonna go over the side, bye. <laughs> So we caught a lot of crabs, nothing big enough to keep. <laughs> Hi babes. All right, we're gonna throw them all back and then we'll redeploy the crab trap. Now one thing I really want to highlight this time going down is I want to show you how much the color of the water changes as we go down. So it started off really blue and now it's super green as we get down further. That can have to do with the clarity of the water, um, how much light can actually get through the water, and what is actually in the water column. So crabs are coming a lot faster now. They know that there's food around um, and they're really excited to get at it. Okay, so in most of these videos underwater so far, I turned down the underwater noise. The GoPro has a microphone on it, um, but I didn't want you to hear the noise all the time. But I do think it's really interesting because you can actually hear the crabs climbing over the camera and such. Um, so I can always tell when a crab is coming over the camera because it makes like a lot of clacking noises. So I want you to hear that. And then the second clip is going to have a different noise. So hang on. Okay, so in this clip, three bros are going over in like a speedboat. Um, they're probably 50 feet away from me. I'm probably about 10 feet down and you can still hear the speedboat. So take a listen. Now the sound of it doesn't really seem to be affecting the crabs, which is great, but a lot of other animals are really heavily impacted by the noise that humans make in the ocean. Um, noise travels a lot farther in water than it does in air, and animals that rely on sound, like whales, dolphins, things like that, can get really disoriented with loud noises, um, especially from shipping, and so that's something that a lot of researchers are focusing on how humans can impact those animals less by, you know, cutting down on the sound that we make because it's loud under there. Also, yes, I know that this crab is blocking like the whole field of view. And if you skip to the end of the video, you can see like, 
I don't know, five minutes of footage of that crab just being in the way. Um, so yeah, he was kind of, kind of crazy. All right, so now we're heading back up to the surface, but remember what I said earlier about that red rock crab that didn't have two claws? Well, I think we caught him again, unless there's two red rock crabs that don't have any claws, which seems unlikely because that's their defense mechanism, but I guess it's possible. I'm not afraid of this crab at all because he does not have any front claws, which is really interesting. He has no claws. The others do have claws, so we need to be careful. Here's one. So this is the other type, and this is the guy that has no claws on the front, which is so sad. But he's doing okay. <laughs> Alright, let's put you back. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you're interested in going and collecting crabs yourself, make sure to check out local rules and regulations, talking about what species you can catch, if you can only catch males, what size they need to be, etc. Because it does vary from species to species and in different regions. Uh, don't forget, if you have any questions, you can comment them down below. That's totally fine. Other than that, if you have any other video ideas, do let me know. But thank you so much for watching today and have a great day.